Is this anyone's very first time seeing trivia tonight? First time of pleasure to make your points. Is this anyone's second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and ninth? Oh, what can I see trivia? We have one very simple rule for a trivia show. Whatever the fuck we're doing up here, we need you all doing down there. Now, as you can see, tonight's a very special show. We haven't done one like this in a long fucking time. Yeah! Yeah! You guys want to tonight? It's just fine by us. As long as you're fucking loud doing it and you're having a good fucking time here. Yeah! This next song is off our album The Crusade. This song requires lots of fucking head banging. This is Becoming the Dragon!
I think before we'd be playing Brooklyn. Yeah. Like I know this is the capital of like indie rock, so it's good that we're bringing metal to this fucking place. Huh? This band is fucking legendary, man. I've been wanting to play here for a long fucking time, so thank you very much, Vitus, for having us. Thank you for making this shit. Happen. Today we've got a lot of friends and supporters of the band here. We've got friends past and present from Roadrunner Records. We've got people from the agency group, people from Warner, people from every company that's ever been involved with making this band happen, man. There were a lot of fucking people behind the scenes that made Trivia happen. So thank you to everybody that's been involved for all those fucking years, including yourself, guys. Thank you. Now, on this next song, here's what we need. Everybody singing this guitar part as loud as you fucking can, just like an Iron Maiden show. An Iron Maiden show in a 200 person club, right? This is our Vengeance Falls! This is Strife!
Does anybody in here own the fifth Tribune album, In Waves? Sing this with us, jump with us. This is Bill to Bill. This is off Silence in the Snow. This is Until the Wild Girls Come! 
this. Oh, someone, someone lost this. Yeah, Gabriella. Yeah. Gabriella, we have a purse for you. Ah, oh, there she is, a lucky winner of the purse. What the fuck is that? Like a shirt or a shoe? It was a shoe. Uh, is a uh, Stephen Stevie Shear for your shoe? Whose shoe is this? I don't want to hold this for very long. I don't know if you have foot fun. Is this yours? You need two shoes. <laughs> I don't have my light on me right now. Somebody find this other shoe when you win this shoe. Yeah. I'll hold this up here until you find it. Somebody, uh, don't throw it at my fucking head, but throw it uh, nice right here, okay? Your first shoe is right here, okay? Cinderella, you're my Cinderella! Thank you very much. Now, for those of you who like ascendancy, this is not an ascendancy song. This is an ascendancy song. Here's what we need. Everyone in this fucking place jumping off your feet to another motherfucking beat. This is a gunshot to the head of trepidation. Oh, my God. 
singing on that last song. Holy shit. Jeremy, you had to save a young woman's life tonight. Good work. His name is Jeremy. He's a single man. He's a very nice man. And, uh, all right. Let me tell you guys a little story. Back in 2007, we were on tour in Japan with a band called Heaven and Hell. For those of you who are familiar with Heaven and Hell, that's Ronnie James D on the vocals and Black Sabbath on the instruments. Now we were in Nagoya, Japan, and for all those you guys who know me well, oh, I fucked that up, didn't I? Yeah. Sometimes that happens, sometimes my brain was going, mm -hmm. So for all of you who know me, you know I'm always thinking about food. And Nagoya, Japan is all about fried chicken and eel. So I was thinking of those two, two things in my head. And Corey and Polly said, they said, Matt, you need plenty, you need to watch this show tonight. So the three of us decided to watch Heaven and Hell, and we were absolutely fucking blown away. Immediately after the set, too, we got to meet Ronnie James Dio, and we're geeking out, asking him all these questions. I was asking him everything about vocals and all this. And to give you some perspective, three hours before every single show, I warm up for a full hour. I try not to speak after that. I do another 30 minutes, 30 minutes before the show, and then 15 minutes after the show of a cool down. Ronnie James Dio would just walk up on stage every fucking night and not have to do any of that shit and be absolutely incredible, man. So he was born with that shit. He was one of the most humble, amazing legends of rock and metal we'd ever met before. So after that night, we felt inspired. We started writing the music to the song, Silence in the Snow, back in 2007. So that song has been evolving and sitting around for the last eight years, and finally this record's coming out October 2nd. This is another brand new song off that record. If you don't know the song, feel free to sit around and enjoy it. If you do know the song, sing your fucking ass off. This is Blind Lady the Blind!